I'm Samantha Deicher for InvestmentPitch.com. With Extrata, one of the world's largest mining and metals companies, back in the news due to its merger with Glencore International, making the combined company the fourth largest mining company in the world, shareholders of Vancouver-based Blue River Resources are watching to see if this will further increase interest in the development of British Columbia's bulk tonnage copper deposits, specifically in the Canal Trough area, where all of Blue River's projects are located. Blue River Resources, which went public last August on the TSX Venture Exchange and trades under the symbol BXR, had Extrata Copper acquire land positions on two sides of its Castle Copper project in the Princeton area of BC this year. The company's largest mineral property is the 18,000-acre Castle Copper property, located 12 kilometers north of the town of Princeton in southwestern British Columbia and 25 kilometers north of Copper Mountain Mining's new open-pit copper mine. Over the last two years, Extrata Copper has been inking joint ventures in the Canal Trough of BC, with a total of five joint ventures. The Canal Trough is recognized as one of the most prolific copper mineralized belts in the world. Two of Extrata's recent acquisitions flank Blue River's Castle Copper property, which has been explored intermittently since the late 1950s. Blue River's first move was a 10-hole, 1,350-meter drill program to test the depth extension of a previously identified zone of anomalous copper mineralization. In January, they released their first drill results, and President Griffin Jones stated, We are very encouraged that the initial diamond drill program on the Castle Copper project resulted in copper mineralization in 8 of 10 holes that were recovered. BXR Hole 11-9 is also exciting due to its 600-foot intersection and the consistency of the poor freestyle mineralization. This gives us an excellent starting point for further exploration and drilling in 2012. The company recently found historic drilling results from the Castle Copper property, ranging from 230 feet of 1.1% copper to 100 feet of 0.65% copper. This area will be the main focus of drilling this year. Blue River has been expanding their footprint in the area, expanding the Castle property to approximately 18,000 acres. To the north, the company entered into an option agreement to earn a 100% interest in the 1,900-acre Highland North property, located in British Columbia's Highland Valley, directly adjacent to Tex Highland Valley Copper Mine property, the largest copper mine in Canada. The Highland North property is situated 6 kilometers from the former Bethlehem deposit, the first copper mine in the camp. A 1.6 kilometer by 200 meter copper mineralized anomaly was discovered during a recent exploration program on the property which included surface sampling and a ground IP geophysics program. Diamond drilling is planned for 2012. 12 kilometers to the south, Blue River has an option to earn a 100% interest in the Highland South Project, a 5,800-acre property located adjacent to Tech and to two active copper exploration programs. One of these programs recently reported 162 meters of 0.33% copper and 102 meters of 0.45% copper. Highland Valley Copper's average grade is 0.22% copper. Blue River plans to conduct mapping and soil sampling on the Highland South property in 2012. Shareholders can look forward to continuing news from Blue River with two drill programs scheduled for this year in the Canal Trough area, which already has three mines in production and several in development. Blue River currently has 26.8 million shares outstanding and is capitalized at under $4 million. For more information on Blue River Resources, you can visit their website at www.bluerib.com or contact the company's president, Griffin Jones, at 604-682-7339 or email griff at bluerib.com. I'm Samantha Deicher for InvestmentPitch.com. For more video news and to view our disclaimer, be sure to visit our website at www.investmentpitch.com. This video is for information purposes only and is not a recommendation to buy or sell any securities.